Mayor, who is the director of the Margaret Herrick Library, okay. which is our library, yeah. and then Ann Coco, who. The book really is, is sort of unique in that it, it um, introduces us to a little known aspect of exhibition and that is the hand painted movie posters. Everybody assumed that um, posters were printed, lithographed, sent out by the studios and that's what the theatres used. But in fact um, it turns out that virtually every movie house in America and every movie chain in America from the teens through into the early 1950s had their own in-house poster artists who would actually design paint the posters each week that appeared in the lobby and on the facades of the theatres. Baptiste Madalena was employed by um, George Eastman to create hand-painted posters for the George Eastman Theater in Rochester, New York. This would be in the mid-1920s. And the um, instruction that, that he was given was that he had to create poster artwork that would catch the attention of the individuals who were riding on the trolleys that stopped in front of the theater. So that's why when you look at his poster paintings, they're just eye-popping, both in terms of their color and in their lack of um, text. There's not a lot of text. So he did this for a couple of years. George Eastman then sold his theater. And when he sold his theater, um, Madalena found himself out of work and he, he was no longer working at the theater. It was a rainy night and he was riding his bicycle by the theater and he looks and in the trash are piles of the poster paintings that he has created or that he had created all of these years. And he and his wife went back and they picked up as many as they could, brought them back to their house, dried them, put them away and stored them for many years until they were uh, rediscovered by the Catons in the 1980s. Well, I mean, I, can, I can't help it, but what my favorite is the Polonegri. Uh, that may not be a unique position <laughs> here, but it, it's so striking and so stunning. And I, part, of, part of what makes these works so wonderful is that uh, the really good ones, like the Batiste Madalenas, um, show an artist's insight into something and ex give a, a very expressive view. It may not be accurately depicting a scene from a film, but it sure gives you an emotional feeling about it, um, and, and it, it stays with you.